of uh, automata theory and compilers in design so here i am discussing module 1 and 2 okay so these are some of the previous year question papers what i have chosen so i have referred the previous year question papers and the, all the possible questions for uh, all the five modules i have taken so in this video we are going to discuss about first two modules and uh, next video i'm going to discuss the third fourth and uh, fifth module so the possible questions are define the, the following with examples so they may ask any definitions here it is alphabet language symbol replication concatenation languages power of an alphabet or what is a proper substring or string so here you should write the definitions with example and next is uh, why to study automata theory that is what is the use of studying automata theory and what are the applications of automata theory then with a neat diagram explain the hierarchy language classes in automata theory so for this you should explain the chomsky hierarchy so here uh, chomsky hierarchy hope you know this so all the four different kinds of languages that is type uh, 0 type 1 type 2 and type 3 so these things you have to explain and next is uh, this one build a dfa for the following languages here uh, we have, I have clubbed all the three types of uh, DFAs that is design of DFSL okay so here were uh, three types of DFAs we have one is skeleton DFA based on the string we take the strings uh, we design the skeleton DFA and then we try to construct uh, the uh, that is design the DFA or as we, we make use of modulo problems okay you can go through these questions we use the modulo mod k problems and the third type of dfsm is the divisibility problems divisible by k problems so these are the three types of dfas one is skeleton dfa based on the string and modulo k uh, dfas and divisibility problems so these are some of the possible questions uh, which i have chosen from the previous year question papers just you can have a look at it okay so so we have taken all these questions from the previous year question bank okay so this is then is uh, in the theory part you may get for five marks that is uh, write the differences between dfa nfa and epsilon nfa the fifth question differences between the dfa nfa and epsilon nfa and next is explain five functions on strings strings with example so what operations you can perform on the strings okay string concatenation string slicing string appending okay so like this you should explain some of the functions of strings next is uh, construct the nfa that is the nfsm construction from the dfa so here uh, nfa also there are uh, one is epsilon nfa and another one nfa is uh, without epsilon that is lazy evaluation method and subset construction method two methods we will get so this is construct the nfa to recognize the following keywords so you have to construct the nfa the diagram you have to write for 101011 and 10101 so you have to design the automata for this one okay so you can see uh, we have studied the theorem if if it is an uh, if there exists a uh, dfa means it should have a regular expression so with the help of regular expressions you have to construct this nfa so you can go through the textbook you'll get the answer for this just you can directly draw the nfa which will be having epsilon transitions okay then explain any three operations on languages with example okay then uh, demonstrate the algorithm for conversion from nfa to dfa so here they will ask the algorithm along with the problem and write an algorithm to convert epsilon nfa to dfa all these we use while solving the problems the next is construct an equivalent dfa for the given nfa so here this is the uh, this here we are going to apply the lazy evaluation method okay you can solve this problem even in a single step also okay we are using the lazy evaluation method next convert the following nfa to dfa using subset construction so in subset and construction method we have to apply all the uh, all possible subsets from q0 to q1 you have to consider and then you have to design the dfa and here here q2 is not reachable so you have this is a dead state you have to remove this dead state so you'll get only two states in this problem and guys this problems nfa will be for eight marks okay 
So this is not uh, three marks. It is a eight marks question. Lazy evaluation method. And next is some of the uh, DFA, NF, that is DFSM construction. NFA means NFSM, DFA means DFSM. So here these are some of the sample problems from the question papers. So this is, they have given epsilon NFA. So this problem will be for, for 8 to 10 marks. Okay, it will be for 8 to 10 marks. So these are some of the problems, standard problems. So the same problems might be repeated for you all also. Okay, just you can have a look at these problems and you can try to solve this problem. You have to find the epsilon closure of each of the state in order to design the DFA for these problems. Next, again here uh, for epsilon NFA, they may give the diagram or they may give the transition table like this. Okay, if transition table is given also, you can solve it in the same way. But here the input given here is epsilon transition. So from this itself we can identify that it is epsilon NFA. So epsilon transitions. So you may get a problem by giving transition table or like this the, gra the graph itself would have been given. Okay. Next is uh, distinguish. Define distinguishable and indistinguishable states. Minimize the following DF. It's a very important question. You may get a combi, uh, you may get either epsilon NFA one problem or else you may get this minimization of DFA. So either this or that, okay, it will be for 10 marks. And you can refer to my videos, I have shown how to solve these problems in one minute to find the solution. You can refer to my videos for this one. And the same thing you can solve by applying the table filling algorithm. So here table filling algorithm or we can go for grouping method to find the solution easily. Okay, you can refer to my videos. So these are also some of the standard problems repeatedly asked. You can go through these problems. And this is also again a question paper problem repeatedly asked. And it can be asked like this also. Minimize the DFA using table filling algorithm. Okay guys. So here the final state is D for this problem. And next, write the difference between DFA, NFA and Epsilon NFA. Explain the language translators with appropriate diagrams and explain the different phases of the compiler. So this is a very important question, different phases of a compiler. This will be for 8 to 10 marks. So this is what uh, in first module you will get. Next, we will discuss second module. So in second module, the next is define regular expression and write down the applications of regular expressions for 5 marks and next write the regular expressions for the following languages so here uh, you may get each question for 2 2 marks okay any two questions will be asked for 4 marks so just all these are previous year question papers and it's also there in the textbook you can refer to that Next, these are the sample problems. And next, construct the regular expression for the following finite automata using state elimination method. So again, this is also important, using state elimination method. So all these are question paper problems to obtain a DFA using state elimination method. We have to apply the algorithm and then we have to solve this problem. All these are question paper problems. So in this problem, when the starting state and final state is same, means we can reduce it to into a single state. So just to apply the state elimination procedure to find the solution. Next, the construct the following regular expressions to finite automata by constructing the DFA or epsilon NFA. This question will be for four to marks you have to draw the automata for these regular regular expressions given standard uh, DFS will be there so you have to draw the diagrams for all this next this is a very important question state and true pumping lemma for regular languages so this is again 8 to 10 marks question so along with theorem and you will be having one more problem 6 plus 4 10 marks Okay, so these are some standard problems where easily you can prove that they are not regular. 
a raised to n, n is a perfect square, n is a cube here, and reverse of a string, and a raised to p prime number, 0 raised to n, 1 raised to n, they are not regular. Regular, they are not regular, why? Because we cannot construct a DFA for them. Next, compiler design. Here we have lexical analysis phase of compiler. Again, this is very important, important question. Explain the role of the lexer. You have to draw the diagram and you have to explain. And this mar this will be for from four to four to seven marks. Okay. So we have given there four, but in the external exam you may get it for seven marks also. And next is explain input buffering. It's also a very important question in this. So we can expect these two. And next is explain the specification of tokens. Okay, so this is about the second module in compiler design. Hope you have understood. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment.